Hey there, it's Kazoom again with another boring video about Second Life. Right now I'm in front of a place that uh, my mother uh, uh, rents. Um, I'm the one that introduced her to Second Life and her life improved exponentially after that. Um, after my grandmother passed, my mother didn't really know what to do. She had been so controlled by my grandmother and was really not allowed to have friends. I say allowed because it just my grandmother would be so nasty to her when she'd try to spend time with friends and nobody wanted to come over because of the way my grandmother was. And uh, so when I introduced her to Second Life, uh, she started getting more of the concept of friends again. And uh, some of the friends that she made there, she went on to meet in real life over in, from uh, Florida to Boston. And uh, I should say from Florida to Massachusetts, <laughs> to be more accurate. And uh, so this is a place that uh, she was renting, and when I started coming back into Second Life again, and she says, oh, go ahead and land here, it's it's cool. And so this is where I was uh, initially landing, that you saw me going before. It's at a place that uh, one of her friends uh, owns, it's uh, uh, at Ocean Point, it's the name of the, the area. And uh, so now I'm renting a place it's really, it's, rent is really cheap uh, when it comes to uh, these little places here. And everyone has this little storefront and then you can have a little place above it. And so, uh, what I have right now is this place. Uh, and it's kind of modeled after the club that I had, the fourth dimension, which I'm, I may open up again. I may do that again. Um, I really, really enjoyed that a lot. And uh, I made all the textures and everything that you see in here, I made. And uh, I still don't see anything that has these this sort of concept of the uh, moving textures on the walls. There's other types of moving stuff that people do, but it's usually not that. And, uh, and my place is right above it. Um, up here, and I don't, I don't really have anything in it. I don't have any need to have any fancy anything. I just have a place where I can, I can, you know, sit down, and uh, I have it set up so I can see out the windows pretty easily. But but you can barely see in. So uh, you know, if I happen to go somewhere that's that I'm nude, then uh, and I want to. Teleport back, teleport back home. I don't have to worry about anything, because this place is is moderate. It's not G, but it's moderate. It's not adult, and usually the only places you're supposed to uh, be nude is when you're at an adult themed place. So, um, so yeah, uh, it's kind of good to have my own little place again, um, and. Now, it's not like I sell anything at this this location or anything. It's just a nice little storefront. Um, and I should be DJing again soon. And uh, again, I may be opening my club again soon, the fourth dimension. Uh, and uh, you know what? I could probably show you what that looks like. Here, let me go to a building platform real quick. Okay, I just, I rezzed my club. Uh, on this uh, little building platform. It's only going to be here for a short temporary period of time. Um, but this is what my club looks like. Um, I think it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, I still have never seen anywhere quite like it. Um, it's just a different design all the way around. Um, The little DJ booth here looks better than the one that's at the other place. 
but I can't delink it yet unless I tell I get I, truly my own uh, my own land. This is what it just the, the place looks like from the outside. So it's like a giant yurt. So I may be bringing this back. I'm hoping to. It would be nice. All right. 